All right, so I've got this LED light bar, puts out a lot of light for my deer angle here. And I have my CB radio, which does pretty good. I take the squelch, set the squelch so it's just above the static floor right now. And then I take and turn on my light bar. Ooh, look at that. You can hear it. All kinds of noise. And if we take a look at the scope, this little oscilloscope, I've got it probed into the wires here for the, for the light bar. Set the scope here. All kinds of noise. Uh, just so you know, uh, my channel two here, going to the probed on this light bar here is set to AC coupling which means it's not showing the 12 volts that's going there, it's just anything that alternates. Um, and that's what you see here. Yep. Fourteen kilohertz, plus there's all kinds of harmonics that's making their way into around 27 megahertz citizens band. Anyway, so give me just a moment and I'll put this little noise filter in and we'll see what that does. All right, so I've got my noise filter and a big capacitor because one of the capacitors blew. And um, so this needs to get redone in a way I can fit it back in the enclosure box. But you can see I have it's my power coming in to the to the filter here and then it's powering this light bar. Now there's some other noise nearby. So let me readjust this here. There you go. And watch what happens when I turn on the light bar. Wow, look at that. Nothing. I'll even show it to you on the radio. A little bit of bad footage there. Trying to capture something anyway. Nothing. If I show it to you on the scope. Some voltage spikes turning it on and off, but that's something else. But that filter is effective. Zero in here. You can even change the amplitude view. So there is a ever so slight amount of hash that does get through. Looks like there's a static voltage on there. Let me, there it is. Kind of interesting. That's probably a little bit of capacitive discharge going on. Anyway, that sucker's effective.